Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing Captain Warrington's Play Maze. This is the brand new game from developer Zed Technician, and I'm sure you guys are familiar with who Zed Technician is by now, made most famously The Man From The Window, amongst many, many other games that we've played from this developer on the channel. I really enjoy their games, there's something weird and kind of interesting about them. They always have strange mechanics and quite unique gameplay loops, so hopefully this one's fun. Um, this is $1 and you can get it from itch.io, I'll leave a link below if you want to check it out for yourselves. With that said guys, we're going to check out this new game from Zed Technician. Technician Captain Warrington's Play Maze today, so sit back, relax, and let's dive in. New game, start new game, yes. I'm guessing that's Captain Warrington in the background there. And we've got an animal person, of course we have. This one looks more human than usual. She's called Betty Ann. That wasn't half bad. The order was right, the food was hot. It even looks like they've remodeled this place since last time. How is yours, Alberts? What's Albert gonna look like? Oh, just a kid. Okay, they're like vampires. Like cat, vampire, humans. <laughs> Albert says, great. If you keep those grades of yours up, we'll come back next week, okay? Okay, good. Now then, we still have much, much more to do this evening. I think the mall is safe this week, so we'll swing by there next. Then we'll go grocery shopping. What does she mean the mall is safe? <laughs> is it usually dangerous? I don't know. Uh, what is it, dear? Do you hear something? Oh, something like what? It's nothing. Never mind. Well, if you hear it again, let me know. I think I hear it, guys. Kind of like a bleh sound. I'm going to go and head to the bathroom before we leave, so I'll be right back. It's going to powder her nose. And off she goes. They're always, like, ample, the characters, let's say, in these games. <laughs> in their proportions. Uh, Albert says... The tunnel? But I'm not supposed to leave without her. Really? Well, I guess so. Is he being invited into the, the play maze? I guess so. So here we go, guys. This is like uh, the kitchen area, I guess. You can get an order your burgers, sides, and drinks. But we don't really want to do that. We want to enter. It says no entry, but we want to enter. Play maze. This looks to be Captain Warrington. Hello, Captain Warrington. You look horrifying. Like, why is this in a kid's playground? <laughs> Looks like some demented SpongeBob character. Okay, I'm going in. We're in the maze, crawling through the tubes. This is kind of spooky. I feel like the maze shouldn't be that big <laughs> because it's a children's play maze, but I feel like we're going to get lost in it, right? It's going to be like going to the back rooms or something. Leaving our mom behind. I assume that was our mom. Our carer, whoever she was. And, um, yeah, we're going off on our own adventure now. Oh, it's saying go this way. Do I trust the arrow? I guess so. I'll just trust it. Last thing I want to do is get lost in a maze. Man, it's so dark ahead. Imagine something just jump scares us. They don't tend to be very jump scary games, I will say that. I'm gonna run. You can actually run. Ooh, look, a ball pit. A very flat looking ball pit. All the balls have deflated. Uh, this is actually kind of ominous. Wait, we've come out the other side. I've just realized and the restaurant's now shut. The lights are out. It's now nighttime somehow. We were in there for a long time. <laughs> um, Captain Warrington, are you, uh,. You okay, buddy? Yes? Okay. Can I leave? Bruh, I can't leave. I can hear you much better now. We just interact with him. What were you trying to tell me? It's like this statue is speaking to the kid. This is really weird. Oh man, look, full on dog as a, uh, as a server. This is called Ashley. She's a Doberman. Um, you'd think she'd be skinny being a Doberman, but no, still those ample proportions. So I give him the drink. I did milk, sugar, ice, then chocolate. The dude wanted milk, sugar, ice, then vanilla. So yeah, I messed up. I can admit it when I do something wrong. I'd have remade the stupid thing no problem, no questions asked. But do you know what he did? Penny says, what did he do? He flipped the whole tray over on me. The drink, the fries, everything. Oh, come on, that's awful. Uh-huh. 
Had to change my uniform and everything. But guess what? The guy left his house keys behind when he took off. Oh man, is she a psycho or something? So naturally, I threw him down the garbage disposal and then... Wait. What? Someone opened the maze door. Oh crap. Must have been that kid that was in here. It's weird how it's now daytime again. Is this like the next morning? <laughs> Did the mother not care? Are they going to go into the maze as well? A while back, you asked corporate to put a lock on the new maze door. They never even wrote back about that. Nope. Figures. So, which one of us is going in this time? Hmm. It says, is the manager who can determine dead ends at first glance? Okay, so that's her perk, I guess. I'll do it. You stay here and keep this place in order. Fine with me. I don't get, was that like a choice? It didn't seem like it gave me a choice. You better be careful in there, always. All right, this is weird. Okay, we're going in. So she can determine like dead ends, apparently. I guess we're going inside. Oh, it's dark. Good thing I remembered to bring my phone today. TW sent us a digital handbook a while back. Might as well test that out now. Right. So the handbook, page one. In the event of someone entering the captain's play maze, staff must retrieve them immediately. Time passes differently inside the maze. Set stopwatch for 12 minutes. Shift it into high gear and locate the next exit before the time expires. You must reach six before he does. So wait, shift basically means just run. <laughs> just basically run to the end before the time runs out. And we must reach six before he does. Six what? Oh god, we've got to run. All right, the timer goes down fast, so we're running, guys. Um, we're on the clock. See, these games always have strange mechanics. I'll give it that. They don't always make sense fully, but they, uh, they're still reasonably fun to play. And I appreciate that, because a lot of horror games are very cookie-cutter these days. Which isn't always a bad thing. I'm just saying, you know, like, it's nice to play something different. Alright. We're on eight seconds, or minutes, I guess, but they're going down, like, seconds almost. <laughs> okay, keep going, keep going. This maze is very, very... long. <laughs> Considering that it's literally in the back of a restaurant. Right, we're out, we made it. You will exit the tunnel in a seemingly familiar place, but this is not the Warrington location. The way forward is barred. There is a key on the main counter. Retrieve it and continue forward into the maze. Ah, oh, I see. So we have to go into the restaurant. Get the key. And this is actually spooking me out a little bit. Key's around here. Oh, we've got to go all the way around. There's also a note, I think. Warrington. All management staff be advised. Due to declining profit margins, major changes have been approved by the board and CEO. Much research was conducted and many potential problems were brought up, including recent steep price increases, declining food quality, and semi-ethical ingredient sources. After careful deliberation, the decision has been made to create a company mascot in order to address these issues. Ah, so that is why the Warrington mascot was created. All right, bit of lore for us. We've got the key. Let's get out of here. All the way back. Just take your time, it's fine. Oh! Oh my god, he actually looks angry now, look at that. We're gonna just go, alright buddy? You stay there. Now we can head forward. Time starts, we run. We run guys, we keep the pace up. We gotta get out of here before the 12 minutes are up. I feel like it's more like maybe two minutes that we get on the timer? In real time? Okay, so this shows us where to go. Because that's her perk, is knowing where to go. Wait, what is this? The heck, bro? Place the correct answer on the middle pedestal. Ah, oh, I see. Match the square with a square. Let's go. Here we go, got another one triangle this time. Where's the triangle? Here. Oh, here we go. On there, we've done it. Let's go. I don't know why that first one stumped me. I was kind of confused by, like, what I was meant to do there. 
We are running out of time though. Really running out of time. Please say we don't have to do another puzzle. No, we're out. Good. Okay. Oh, we got a number two. Interesting. Hello? Coming to life. His hands are now down. Okay. Whatever. Let's go and see if we've got a key over here again. We've got another note as well. After extensive analysis of current trends, our PR team has drafted a private theme to design for our new company mascot. A prototype model of this design is scheduled to be built within the following week. After approval by our marketing team and the ethics division, design blueprints will be sent to every eligible Warrington location. Instructions on the proper outsourcing channels for construction will be provided as necessary. Signed, the Warrenberger Corporation. This Warrenberger Corporation, I feel like they're up to no good. But we got the key, so let's head on. Oh my god, bro. That is not cool. Alright, I'm going. I got a thumbnail. <laughs> I took a picture of him. It's the least he can do for me. Give me a nice thumbnail. Alright, we're going, guys. That is freaky, though. He just, like, moves. I wonder if he's going to attack us at some point. So it looks like we go through these tunnels and we have puzzles that we have to, like, figure out. Yeah, we've got another puzzle here. I don't know if... It looks like it's the same as last time, though. We just find the star to put on here, which is here. Right, this way. Let's go. 7 minus 2 is 5. Where's 5? Look at my math skills, guys. This is like Baldi's basics right now. We're flying through it. Well, by the time it's ticking down quickly, I don't see how we could have done this any faster, though, to be honest. Like, that was a pretty much one and done room. We've got a circle now we need to find. Where's the circle? Circle is here. Get that. Boom. I don't know if they're going to make it harder as we go, like, colour coordinate them as well. But... We'll see. Man, this is bringing me back to Security Breach. That FNAF. We're going into the ball pit. Oh, here we go. In the ball pit, nice. Yes, yeah, so this is level 3 now. I was wondering what that number was all about. I just worked it out. Wait, he's gone completely as well. No, he's going to be in the restaurant, isn't he? Where are you at? I'm going to find you, buddy. Oh, he's there. Look. We might have to walk all the way around now. Does he attack us? Look at his face, man. It's horrifying. Why are you walking towards the kitchen area? Right, let's have a look at this note. The prototype design was approved by our marketing team with a unanimous vote of 12 to 0 in favour. So everybody approved it. The ethics division attempted to halt progress by voting not to approve the design, citing extreme moral and safety concerns. Why would there be moral and safety concerns for a mascot? Something's going on with this mascot, isn't it? This decision was subsequently overruled by both the CEO and board, and the design has been approved for use in all locations. The materials needed for the construction of a Captain Warrington statue, wood base, bone and ash paints, and replica clothing will be provided as necessary. Bone and ash paints doesn't sound good. What? Oh! You freaky little thing. Bruh. He came for us, man. He's trying to flip us with that. I'm going. Does he move when we don't look at him? No, I don't think so. At least not yet. I'm just getting straight out of here. Moving statues like that, they are freaky. Wait, what? Which way do we go now, bro? Straight forward? I think they were fake holes. I don't actually think they led anywhere. They're just there to kind of slow us down, maybe? To get us thinking, which way are we going? Imagine he flies around the corner and I'd cry. <laughs> I'd literally scream. Okay, says to go this way. Which is good, so we go this way. What the heck? We got numbers, bro. How am I meant to know this? 
Oh, wait. Do we have to, like, put them in order, maybe? I think so. It's the only thing I can think of doing. No, that was already there. That was already in the right place. There we go. Yeah, it's like a calculator or something. You have to put them in right, um, the right order. We lost a bit of time there, guys, but I had no idea what it wanted me to do for a, a little while there. Okay, circle. Get the circle, place it on the plinth, and go. If we've got one more puzzle to do, it's going to be very tight. But we'll see. We'll see, guys. Four... Oh, uh, more than four and a half. Seven plus one is eight. Where's eight? Here. Plonk. Right, let's go. That should be the final puzzle, I think. This way. Okay. Man, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Three minutes. I know it's going to be a jump scare one of these days. At least if I was designing this, I'd do that. A cheap jump scare at some point. Oh my god, look at our time, guys. I think we might run out of time here. It's going to be incredibly close. Come on. Yes. We survived. We're all good. Level four. Okay, open the door. Where's he at? Oh my god, I can't actually see him. Oh, he's there. Stay there, please. I'm just going to go around here, read my notes, get my key. According to this month's financial report, all locations have been added a Captain Warrington statue and have experienced record profits. As projected, the use of bone and ash based paint in combination with a Gretel wood base resulted in subtle mind and space altering effects. When in close proximity to a Captain Warrington statue, customers are observed to buy more food than normal. Customers have also noted to return more frequently than usual. Some locations have even reported the sudden appearance of a large and colourful tube maze. Oh man, so the maze isn't even there, like naturally, it's just spawned in with the statue, who kind of seems to um, influence everyone, it's kind of weird. Alright, he didn't move much this time. Maybe you moved a little bit? Stay there, bro. I'm getting out. Alright, guys, we're gonna have to be fast now. Level four, let's go. Imagine we just hear a dum 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 behind us and he's like chasing us. That'd be horrible. Okay. So now we, re we really can't afford to um, dilly dally like last time. But then again, I don't know what I can do if the puzzle doesn't make sense to me straight away. It might be GG, you know? I better not have to start from the beginning again as well if I die. I'll be sad. Right, it's this way. Okay, it's another one of these. We can deal with these now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go. That was quick. Could have been slightly quicker, but I'll take it. Now we go up. This way. Ooh. Star. We need star as soon as we get in there. Let's uh, look for the star. Star is here. Go. See how quick this is? This is amazing. Down we go. I'm wondering if there's like five basic levels. Like, we're on level 4, right? So maybe we'd have one more after this. What does that say? It's just 21. Oh, no. It would be 0, actually. I was going to say, because um, 1 times 21 would be uh, 21. My brain completely melted there. That's what always happened to me back in school when I did a maths test. I'd be like, I know this answer, and as soon as I sat down to take the test, it'd be like, no you don't, because your, your brain doesn't want to work now. <laughs> anyway, guys, we've got plenty of time. I'm guessing maybe they throw one more puzzle at us. So it's going to be very close. 
If they don't throw one more puzzle at us, we should be fine. No, we're, we're fine. Awesome. Level 5 next. Which I would guess is the last one, if it's like a FNAF type thing. Which most games are. <laughs> oh. Alright, where's this guy gone? Has he left? Oh no, he's... he's See, this is weird. He's making his way to the manager's room, I think, down there. Either that or the toilet. <laughs> Maybe he just needs a toilet break. I don't know. Anyway, we'll read the note. I used to work on the ethics division before corporate dissolved it. Corporate can't be trusted. They've all been blinded by greed and gone mad with power. Mind control is not an acceptable practice for a burger franchise. We haven't figured out a way to stop the captain's statues, but their effectiveness can be reduced. Move the captain into the play maze room and put a no entry sign on the door. This will reduce his influence to only children, the elderly and apparently clergymen. He'll try to lure them into his maze. Whatever you do, do not let him bring someone into the supply closet further inside the maze. Wait, is that where he's kind of headed to then, the supply closet? That's why they put him in that room though, so that nobody could interact with him. Why wouldn't they just seal him in a concrete room far away, right? I don't know that we can stop him now. Bruh, he's gone in, hasn't he? He's about to go in, supply closet, how do we stop this guy? I feel like we're going to get the bad ending now, because obviously he's going to get in there. Man. Alright, you know what? We're just going to keep going. We have the key, so we're going to go into tube number five. The timer is ticking down. Right, come on, quick, quick, quick. Oh, I hate these ones. Alright. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go. Again, like, I did never want to misclick those, like, click too far, because that'll cost me more time. So I do take my time a little bit with those ones. Like, the, obviously, the maths question. Oh my god, it says not that. What? Does that mean square? How was I meant to know that it was going to be square because it wasn't circle? I just guessed. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We got it right. And it didn't cost us much time. We go up. I think we'll have one more puzzle to do when we get up here. And up again. Okay. Two times three is six. Bro, where's six? Put down six. Thank you. Go. Of course I went the long way around that room. <laughs> But, that should be the last puzzle, so, unless we have a really long distance to cover here, we should be okay and get out of this maze, I think. It might be cutting it kind of fine, but we should be okay. No, we're good. Oh no, look, I can see him through there already. We've actually got another floor to go through for six. That's insane. Maybe there's ten floors. Maybe there's actually 10 floors. Let's see what he's doing first. So wait, the kid is here. Oh, thank goodness, I'm not too late. Child, come on. I need to get you out of here ASAP. Huh? Where am I? Um, where was I going? It's a long story. But don't worry, you're safe with me. Follow me and I'll take you back to your mom. We'll leave this swashbuckling scoundrel behind. Okay. Okay, good good kid. By the way, I found a key in here earlier. Here. He is like, screw you. Not on my watch, pal. Not on my watch. Arr, ye foiled me plans. Yep. So we got the key. Now, is there any loot around here this time? No. So maybe if we had gone here first, we would have failed. I don't know. But the kid's given us the key. I'm assuming he's like maybe <laughs> jumped on our back or something because he's not there anymore. Right, six. We've got to do one final run, guys. Let's make it. The timer is ticking. It would be very unfortunate if we died now. No, he's chasing us. I think. Someone's behind us, that's for sure. Oh my god. We've got to do this fast. Ah! Two. Come on, please. Three. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, go. Go, 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 go. I'm not even looking round. I'm not even risking it. I'm just going. Right, to the left, to the left, to the left, to the left, and up. Because I know with these games, you usually have to restart from the beginning if you die, so screw that. I'm not doing all this again. This is nearly half an hour recording at this point. <laughs> I'm not going to start over. Let's keep going. Alright. It's a square, it's a square, it's a square, it's a square. It's a square. Put the square down, go. So it's teaching, it's testing us with each of the uh, puzzles. We should have a math one next. Up the ladder. Yep. Nice. Alright, what's this? 20 divided by 10. Um, 2? Bruh? Go! Man, my math skills are working today. <laughs> Even though it's pretty simple math, but I'll take it. Don't want to get turned around at this point as well by accident and, and uh, like walk into the enemy. Alright, go, 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 go to the left. We've got to be nearly there. No, we got another one of these. Are you kidding me? Alright, we've got to be quick, guys. Four, five. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool, bro. It's cool. Let's go. This is really going to be close. <laughs> I wasn't expecting us to get one of those. Go, 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 go. Fast, 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 faster, faster. Oh my god. 27 divided by 9. No. This is insane. This is insane. Man, I don't think I'm going to make this. I don't think I'm going to make this. Not how the heck am I meant to do this, bro? How was I meant to have done that? As an ominous line of red zeros flashed across Penny's screen, she knew all too well that her own fate had been sealed. Despite knowing deep down that such an effort would be futile, she decided to venture deeper into the labyrinth. Perhaps she would inadvertently find a new, previously undiscovered exit. Or perhaps every inch she crawled through would only dig herself further into a cold and colourful grave. She continued on for what felt like days, slowly losing both hope and battery life in equal measure. As the final percentage of her phone's battery life burned, its light began to flicker. And as the last bit of light that separated her from eternal darkness faded, that's when she heard it. The unmistakable sound of wood scraping against plastic grew ever closer. Oh no, he's coming closer, look! He's coming for us guys! That's actually nasty. What the heck? Neither the child or Penny were ever seen again! The Warrington Burger Corporation denies any potential wrongdoing regarding the incident. Of course they do. Deny until you die, right? So that's the end. That's actually mad. Like... Can I continue that? Does it let me continue? Surely it does. Alright, we have actually come back into the game, guys. Um, and it looks like the child is with us. So it looks like we're continuing, hopefully, from where we left off. Dude is there now, though. You stay there, man. I'm going to try and do this again. We're going to run this thing. But we got to be fast. Well, we did it. Oh my god, what the heck? <laughs> he just popped out the ball pit to uh, to greet us. You freaky little thing. Screw you, mascot. Oh, we got a zero now. So we finally made it out of there, guys. That took me about five attempts. You have to, like... You have to do it perfectly, pretty much, in every room. So what do we do now? We've got another note and a key. Before we do that, I want to check down here. 
Nothing there in the supply closet. Okay, let's go. So, we'll read the note. We'll take the key. If you're seeing this, then you're pretty much home free at this point. Room zero always has a short path that leads back into the real world. And as for me, I'd like to put all of my experiences at Warrington behind me, but my conscience won't let me rest until this whole situation has been resolved. If I go public with my knowledge, corporate would have my head on a silver platter. Legally, I mean. I signed the NDA. For now, I'll continue to wage my secret war from the shadows until I can find my next course of action. Hopefully these notes will be of some use until then. Signed the whistleblower. Someone blew the whistle on this place. Let's go. We're getting out of here guys. It says it's an easy route. Can't get us now, punk. We're going through room zero. Let's go. This should be nice and simple. I think I can see the end actually all the way over there. So we just crawl through, save the day, and bail out. Around the corner, look, we haven't got the timer on our uh, phone. Hey, and here is the worried parent and uh, our colleague. Betty Ann says, Albert, if you don't come out from there this instant, you're grounded for a month. The manager went in to go get him. I'm sure they'll be out shortly. Hurry up, Penny. I'm sick of having to deal with this lady. <laughs> she said it right in front of her. Or maybe that was her inner monologue, right? Penny says, Woo, I found him. Apologies for the whole incident, Mom. Albert, why in heaven's name would you go running off like that? Sorry, Ma. Uh, it won't happen again. Well, I'd hope not, young man. Thank you both for helping me. I swear he's usually so well behaved. Think nothing of it, Mom. It usually happens more often than you think here. Yeah, because it's cursed is why we found that out. Oh, is that so? Well, in that case, we'd better get out of your hair then. Let's go, Albert. Okay, <laughs> you'd think they maybe would sue if it was like that bad there, right? Thanks for helping me. Bye. There we go. I think we're free. We're all done. Things were pretty touch and go for a while there, but I'm glad we both came back in one piece. How about you? Any problems on this end? You were only gone for about five minutes because of a whole time dilation thing. Which, when you're talking to Miss World's Most Annoying Mother, is five minutes too long. Where's Albert? Where did my Albert go? Did I mention that he's on the honor roll? Yeah, I mean, she was worried about her kid. I mean, this woman's a bit like, uh, catty, isn't she? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> sounds like you had your hands full. Hands? Nah. Ears? Heck to the yes. Hey, Penny. Uh-huh. We can't keep doing this forever. One day one of us is going to mess up. I know, but until then, we have to keep trying. Yeah, they, they obviously do this quite a lot going into these tunnels. Think we'll ever find a way to stop the captain and still keep our jobs? I'd give it about the same chance as corporate approving my request to get a shake machine fixed. Ugh. They're just disgruntled employees to be sure. And I would be too if I was forced to do this all the time. Look how happy he looks. He's like, ah, they got away this time. He's giving us a wink. It's kind of creepy. Next time I'll have them. Yeah, that was terrible acting. Anyway, guys, that was the end. We've got the star. Now, there might be another ending, I'm not sure, but, you know, I've been playing this for around uh, 45 minutes of this point, trying to get that final stage complete, and I think I want to edit this down and upload it for you guys. If there is another ending, I might cover it in a future video. Might not. Depends how well this video does and how much you guys want to see it. I did actually enjoy this. I'm not sure if it's one of their best games, but it's definitely a fun little experience. And um, yeah, kind of interesting that you have different endings there and different ways to experience it. And with that said, guys, thanks for watching today. I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, remember to leave a like, comment down below, and of course, subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you all on the next one.